so in css uh, last class we discussed a lot of selectors and there is a one more important selector i want to tell you and remaining all the selectors you can practice from the mdn from here and one more selector i want to tell you pseudo selector in pseudo selector i will tell you about the hover selector hover is the important selector in real time but remaining all the selectors not that much useful and uh, let me go with the hover selector hover selector hover selector let me take uh, h1 web developer okay so when i want to implement the hover selector you need to give the h1 double colon double colon and colon hover or double colon hover. colon hover hover so when i do hover i want to change the background color for that background color should be go with the uh, yellow this is working as mouse over mouse out hover selector will work as mouse over mouse out okay when i do when i do hover on the particular element i want to do something can you see this so instead of writing the mouse on mouse over mouse out you can implement directly hover select and this is in real time very important when you have some um, uh, images when you hover on that should be increase the size or it should say, change some background color or it should change some uh, kind of border radius the kind of things you can implement with the hover so light color will be kind of dark or dark matlab white this the normal i will kind of situations whenever you want to handle you can work with the hover select and uh, uh, without let uh, we will start the box model here box model properties are very important properties and what are the important properties in the box model the one is the width property one is the height property one is the padding property one is the margin property one is the border property and one is a outline property so these are the very important properties in the box model width property height property padding property margin border outline so one important point you should understand in html every element is a box every element is a box very important property you should understand first in html every element is a box every element is a box what kind of box it is a kind of rectangular box it is a kind of rectangular box for that particular kind of rectangular you take h1 you take a paragraph you take a form you take any element you take any element any element is a rectangular box you take a span you take a img okay you take a table you take a list item you take order list you take an order list you take any element you take a iframe or you take hyperlinks you take any element any element is a rectangular box in css there are multiple properties to work on box model so width is what horizontal horizontal space of an element width is what horizontal space of an element height is what vertical space of an element padding is something like a inner space of an element and margin is outer space of an element and border is decoration for an element decoration outer decoration you say like uh, outer decoration outer decoration for an element and outline is a uh, extra outer decoration on top of the border extra outer decoration on top of the border on top of the border extra outer decoration you can specify using the outline property hmm see uh, let me go with the paint here for example this is my html web page inside this html web page i will be having some elements for example i have two paragraphs 
imagine i have two paragraphs okay so where is the width of this element where is the width of this element the horizontal space is called width where is the height of this element the vertical space is called height the vertical space is called height and where is the padding for the element padding is some kind of inner space for example if i am having a lot of text like this if i have a lot of text like this if i have some text in the paragraph okay where is the padding available padding is available inside the element inside the element some space got omitted on the top inside the element uh, some space got omitted left side inside the element some space got omitted right side inside the element some space got omitted bottom side and this is called padding this is called padding now let me go what is the margin for this element margin is outer space of an element so outer space some space is omitting outside some space is omitting on top side some space is omitting left side some space omitting the bottom side some space omitting on right side so here i just want to give some text here i want to write down the text about uh, this clippings hmm. now tell me what is the red color one what is the red color one here Hmm. what is the red color one here red color one is white uh, what is the blue color one here width of the element hmm. what is the green color one here green green margin what is the brown color here i am taking colors individually so colors are basically giving you understand okay so red color one is height blue color one is width green color one is margin brown color one is padding okay i will take uh, two more colors yellow color for border and uh, pink is available yeah pink uh, pink i am taking for outline now i want to mention the yellow color where is the yellow color the yellow color is something like a border i want to specify some border on top of this element i want to specify some border on top of the element that is border border is yellow color yellow color i mentioned very very clear here the colors i mentioned yellow color is border and one more color i mentioned outline pink so i want to take outline on top of the yellow color on top of the yellow color i want to provide a extra decoration that extra decoration is called outline that extra decoration is called outline see understand very clear red color is height that is vertical space vertical space of an element is called height horizontal space is called width horizontal space nothing but this one x axis x axis is called width and green green is margin margin is outer space and one more is brown brown is padding yellow is border pink is outline so you have to you have to understand one important concept here you have to understand one important concept here that is something like a t r b l concept t r b l what is the t here is top what is the r here is right what is the b here is bottom what is the l here is left trbl every box is going to be having four faces every box is going to be having four faces what are the four faces one is the top face one is the right face one is the bottom and one is the left so this is something like a clock clockwise order what is a clockwise order top right bottom top 
right bottom left. can you see top right bottom left t r b l so t is working here t and r and b and l t r b l t r b l is box model properties so you have to remember this mantra so why i am telling this t r b l here i will tell when i give single property for example if i give 10 pixel for border if i give 10 pixel for padding if i give 10 pixel for margin it will applicable for t r b l all sides if i say single property if i say single property like 10 pixel it will applicable all sides of all faces of that particular box all faces of that particular box means top right bottom left if i specify two values for example if i am specifying two values 10 pixel 20 pixel okay later in the program you can understand why this trbl single value two value three value four value if i say single value that is applicable for top right bottom left if i say two values it is applicable for top bottom right left top face opposite face opposite face is bottom face and second 10 pixel for top bottom 20 pixel for right left if i say three values 10 pixel 10 pixel 20 pixel 30 pixel if i say three values how it is applicable for the first value 10 pixel applicable for top the second value 20 pixel applicable for right left third value applicable for bottom the confusion is confusion is available in the three values first value there is no confusion all sides same values top right bottom left second value second also no confusion two values top bottom right left opposite faces top bottom one face opposite face right left opposite one face if i say three values first value for top second value for right left and third value remaining value for the bottom mm -hmm. am i clear okay if i say four values there is no question 20 pixel 30 pixel 40 pixel if i say four values tell me first value for top first value for top second value for third value for fourth value for there is no question straight forward there is no question straight forward or you can say or you can say for example you can say something like a padding left individually i can specify padding left 10 pixel individually i can able to specify the values something like this. padding left okay done padding hyphen right okay done 20 pixel padding top 30 pixel individual values there is no question right padding bottom Forty pixel. Individually, I am specifying the values. That is not an issue. I am not only talking about the padding here. It is it is available for margins. It is available for border. It is available for outline. For everything, the same things are working. Same TRBL concept is working. Same TRBL concept is working. If I specify a single value, it is applicable for top right bottom left. If I specify two values, it is applicable for top, bottom, right, left. If I specify three values, top, right, bottom, sorry, uh, top, right, left, and bottom. If I specify four values, four individual values for four different faces. In the work, clear. Till now, it is clear. Theoretically clear. Now I enter into the practical. Then you can understand very clear. so first of all we need to uh, identify first of all we need to one more time uh, refresh the box model properties what are the box model properties we have width height padding margin border outline so we have some properties here width property height property padding property margin property border property and outline property. all these properties are actually available in the box model box model properties are very important and box model is in html every element is a rectangular box first of all we need to identify it for each and every box these are the different properties we can able to specify 
Can I take a program? Box model dot. Okay, so I will take a paragraph. For this paragraph, I want to specify width. See, width you can give the fixed value or width you can mention percentage mode. Uh, width for what? Width for what paragraph? Hmm. How much width you want? For example, I want uh, 50 50% 50 of the page. I want 50% of the page. What is the 50% of the page? Total browser width is 100%. Total browser width is 100%. But my requirement is what? Occupy occupy only 50% of the particular browser. Okay, so let me give some background color. Background color is something like light or background color is green and uh, color should be white. These are the normal common properties. And uh, font style italic. Now come to width property. I specified a width property. I specified width property. If I specified a width property, what this width property is going to be do? Basically, without specifying the width, the paragraph is occupying full width of the page. It is what kind of element? Paragraph is what kind of element? Block level element. If it is a block level element, block level is occupying full width of the page, full width of the browser. So, but when I say 50%, okay, don't go for block level. Only occupy 50% of the page I'm telling. Only occupy 50% of the page I'm telling. Okay, let me take one thing. This paragraph class name is one. And here I'm specifying for dot one. Let me have the one more paragraph, which is two. And for two, I want to go with a different property. For two, I want to go with the different properties. Let me go for the dot two. Dot two. For dot two, I want to specify a different properties. Yes. Let me write down. Background color red, color white, italic, and this should be eighty percent of the page. Should be eighty percent of the page. When I say eighty percent of the page, second paragraph is occupying eighty percent of the particular post. Second paragraph is occupying 80% of the particular browser. So if it is needed, you have to specify the width. Otherwise, you don't specify any width property there. Or you can specify the pixel values also. But height, you don't provide any value for the height. Height is automatically auto. Always the height is always the height is auto. Now, can I exhibit this? It is working fine. Yeah, now, width is working. Height, let me go with the height. If you specify the height, okay, height will apply. Let me specify the height. Height, I want to go with the 200. Itself. If I specify it, height is not in the percentage mode. Don't give the percentage mode for the height. In the height, manam calculate height you cannot able to calculate. The browser height is unlimited. Browser width is fixed 100%. But browser height you cannot able to calculate like 100%, 1000%, something like that. That is the reason you can mention the value like 200 pixel. If you specify 200 pixel, okay. The second paragraph is taking 200 pixel height. Your content is very less. Your box occupied already 200 pixel height. So always in the web, always height should be auto. By default, auto. You even you are not specifying the height property. By default, it is auto. By default, it is auto. And one more thing important, I want to go with the normal width. I don't take any width property. Width also not recommended. If it is required, then only you can use it. I'm not giving anything. But these two paragraphs, I'm overriding the CSS now. But these two paragraphs, now how these two paragraphs are working? Without having any width, these two paragraphs are looking like this. 
can you see the content is the content is not taking any inner space content is actually taking from the edge edge of the particular element edge of the particular box but i want to take some space in the left side i want to take some space in the top side i want to take some space in the right side here and i want to space some bottom bottom also some space i want to allocate hmm. width over height over next property is what padding padding is what inner space i just want to allocate some inner space for these two elements how you can allocate the padding how you can specify padding if i say single value if i say single value when i specify a single value when i specify a single value 10 pixel all sides 10 pixel is taking if i say 10 pixel how 10 pixel is allocating how 10 pixel is allocating this one 10 pixel is allocating top right bottom left so why i am writing this why i am writing this diagram to explain the program now that particular line you got to understand if i am giving the padding 10 pixel automatically that is allocating all the sides if i take uh, 10 and 20 pixel if i take 10 and 20 pixel okay let me take uh, overhead overhead it padding 10 pixel and 30 pixel i'll take uh, more more size then you can understand now 10 pixel for what this for what so top right bottom just give the comment and this for what top bottom top bottom right left 10 pixel for top bottom 30 pixel for yes it is applicable or not 10 pixel space is taking top and bottom sir can you see this uh, content can you see this content 10 pixel is allocating here and here but 30 pixel is allocating here at the same time 30 pixel is allocating here the more the more space which is allocating right and left top and bottom little bit space is allocating and right and left the more space is allocating it means uh, we are actually specifying two values we are actually specifying two values that is the why reason okay, let me give a uh, little bit less 5 pixel and 30 pixel then it will be understandable 5 pixel for top bottom 5, five pixel for top bottom 30 pixel for right left if i say three values two okay one okay two okay let me override it adding uh, five pixel 30 pixel 60 pixel now tell me first value for top second value for right left third value for bottom first value for top second value for right left third value for bottom let's see it is applicable or first value 5 pixel very very less that was applicable on top second value medium value 30 pixel that is applicable for right and left third value more value 60 pixel 60 pixel got taken by the bottom side i say three values if i specify three values it is applicable like this if i say single value it is applicable for top right bottom left if i say two values top bottom right left if i say three values top right left and sorry top right left and bottom if i say four values unfortunately if i say four values adding five pixel 20 pixel 40 pixel 100 pixel you tell me top right bottom individual values here hyphens i am giving hyphens i am giving means it is com combo combination here it is not i am not giving any hyphens not combo combo values individual top right bottom left yes first value for top second value for right third value for bottom fourth value for left the left is taking much left is taking much how much value i am giving for left 100 let me take uh, 150 let me take 150 it is taking it is taking it is 100 percent understanding okay 
So I don't want to do like this. Just give that individual properties also, padding top 10 pixel. Individual values also you can add. Padding left 10 pixel. Uh, padding bottom 10 pixel. Padding right also 10 pixel. Individual values are missed. If I say individual values, okay, fine. Individually, individually values are applicable 10, 10, 10 pixel all sides. Okay, I'm not I'm not working on padding now. Now I want to move to the margin. Where is the margin? Remember one point. By default, every element will take a two pixel margin. By default, every element will take two pixel margin. So you can you can see some space already there here. Some space already there here. Some space. Can you see an upset? Some space is already there. Some space is already there here. Calculate from the browser. Calculate from the browser edge. Calculate from the browser edge. Some space is automatically taking. Am I clear? So padding I'm specifying, but margin by default, some margin is apply, applicable for each and every element, two pixel or one pixel based on the browser. That is browser to browser, some value is changing, one or two. I will either do this, but let us do one pixel, I think so. There is not an interval question, don't worry. Do you need to understand? Now let me go to the margin. Can I say margin, all sides 10 pixel? If I say margin all sides 10 pixel, every element, every element is going to be taking 10 pixel all sides. It is taking top, it is taking right, it is taking bottom, it is taking left also. 10 is 10 is huge, 10 is less. If I if I say if I say margin 10 pixel and 40 pixel, first value for top right, bottom left. Second value for this one. Top bottom right one. You got PRBL Gutundalmi. That mantra should be very, very important for the box model understanding. Now, first value for top bottom. Second value is a huge value that is applicable for right left. Okay. Can I specify three values now? Margin 10 pixel, 20 pixel. 60 pixel first value for top second value 20 pixel for third value 60 pixel for exactly for bottom bottom is very huge bottom is very huge bottom margin is very huge bottom space is very much okay you have four properties means as usual 5 px 10 px 20 px 30 px individually you can write even for margin also margin top is there margin left is there margin bottom is there so as usually as usually like this as usually like this you can specify all the margin values also margin top is there margin left is there margin bottom is there margin right is there. now the very important thing is border 2 px solid green what is this 2px is border width see border is basically combination of three properties what is a solid is border style what is this green is border color not color border color so when i say border property border property is the combo of three values Combo of three values, three combo of three properties. One is the border width, one is the border style, one is the border color. You have to specify in this pattern only. That is the syntax. Border should be like this. Two, two px width to this koale, solid style of this koale, green color of this koale. Am I clear? So if I say like this, if I say like this, your border is going to be applicable on top of the, uh, what happened? I'm specifying for all the paragraphs. Huh? Okay, that is green. Huh? Let me go for uh, some other color, which is the color which is not available. Blue is already available. Huh? 
red is there can i go with uh, orange orange is not there now. or can i go with yellow yellow border yellow is visible two pixel width two pixel width solid style and color is yellow or you can write individual properties you can write individual properties for example i want to specify border width hmm again border width 10 pixel it means all sides all sides same 10 pixel need to applicable if i say two values then again border width okay 5 pixel 40 pixel or 60 pixel now tell me Five pixel width is top bottom. Sixty pixel width is can you see? Five pixel is top bottom. Second one is right left. Hmm. Let me change uh, color also. Border color. Two values. Okay, one is. orange one is yellow rondo okay la gumai ipdi maarutam purple edo sample different unnai rondo let's go then pixel for top bottom 60 pixel for right left What is ten pixel and sixty pixel border width? I am talking about, and color also change. Top and bottom one color applicable. Right, left uh, other color is applicable. Am I clear? And you will be find uh, there are lot of border styles only. You can specify border styles. I am actually giving solid now, but if you go and check with the MDN documentation, you will be having different kind of uh, styles. You will be having dotted. You will be having dashed. You'll be having dash double, and you'll be having dash group kind of thing. You can you can apply any kind of property. Right now I'm giving what? Right now I'm giving what? Solid. Okay, then I'm just done. This property is called Rasta. That's what practice it. It's called Rasta. Na. These are the properties which are available. Style none. Ante there is no style. i am actually giving the solid now okay, so i am just writing all the properties here later you can practice okay now i want to give the style also border style border style solid and uh, no 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 dotted dotted and solid solid for okay dotted for top bottom solid for right left now see dotted for top bottom dotted for top bottom and solid for uh, right left am i clear so you can you can try to do practice with the multiple kind of borders and all but idantha tirnal tirnal ga undi inda tirnal ga inda so this is something like 2 pixel or 5 pixel solid orange this is okay good see this is actually called a short hand method this is actually called short hand method short hand method for bot mostly in the real time people will use a only short hand or if you want multiple sides different different values and you have to go with the individual values but here i cannot give the individual values here only single value single shot only applicable so now the single border is applicable all sides on top of the border i want to go for the one more extra style and on top of the border i want to go with the one more extra style that is outline outline 3 pixel solid 
on top of the yellow yes i can provide the red red is visible on top of the yellow if i say red the red is okay on top of the yellow red is coming that is outline outline is extra so extra packing for example this box is treat like a gift on top of the gift gift one pack is available one pack is available on top of the pack one more color paper is there color paper is chunky paper some chunky paper uh, gift packing is available that is kind of outline if you want you can go with the outline also but uh, outline no no use in the web development in the real time but whenever it is required some image frames you want to design the different different ways then you can provide some kind of things like this and there is a one more property called uh, there is a one more property called border radius but border radius is not available in css 2 that is available in css 3 when i come to css 3 that property will be there but anyway i will write down the border radius also can i stop the outline outline is not looking good okay only border required and that border should be inke edana color cheppandi okay idu edadam hello is not that look not looking on top of the white this is good now what my requirement is there is a property called border radius it's very important border radius radius for the border all sides i want to go with the 5 pixel curved border will come on border radius when i say border radius borders are curving or not borders are curving or not so okay i want to this property basically available in css3 not in css2 now i want to give the border radius uh, 5 pixel and 60 pixel 5 pixel for one opposite corners and 60 pixel for another corners 5 pixel is for there top right and 60 pixel is available here and there Five pixel for top left and bottom right. Top left, bottom right is five pixel. Top right, bottom left is sixty pixel. Now you can apply the border radius also. Okay, I am I am actually writing only for paragraphs here. I am doing the program today for the box model only for the paragraphs. What your assignment is, you have to implement the same box model properties for multiple elements. you can apply for images you can apply for forms you can apply for tables you can apply for multiple kind of elements you have to design the things in the beautiful way you have to you have to design the gallery application for example you are designing a gallery application for gallery application just follow the table structure take table as 100% take take table column as 20% 20% so 20% means four or five images will come 20 means four images will come or five images will come with some space with some space and total four images will come and those four images one more row one more row one more row add multiple rows and you can give the borders you can give the decorations you can give the padding inside and design the things in the beautiful manner design the flower gallery design the flower gallery okay and show me with the box model that is assignment design the flower gallery with the box model and what about the previous assignment 